Hello everyone, we are students from Petroleum Engineering Department from UTP. Uh, we were assigned to do a project for our final project for our engineering drawing subject. Uh, what we were asked to do is oil rigs. Uh, now to give you a background for uh, what oil rigs are, uh, they're basically uh, offshore platforms. Uh, they're large structures with facilities to drill wells to extract and process oil and natural gas. Uh, sometimes it's used to store products, products until it can be brought to shore. Uh, it also can be used for refining and then for uh, a point of transfer between two points onshore and offshore. Uh, uh, we were asked to do a deck with jacket and then uh, the oil rig itself. We were asked to do offices and other facilities that uh, should be used on oil rigs. Anyhow, uh, Introducing the groups of uh, the name of this group uh, Adnan Muhammad, Haytham Saleh, and Ali Arif. Uh, as you can see here, we, we, we made the whole the whole plan over here. Uh, to make it more clearer, this is the lift elevation of our oil rig. This is our crane. We designed this. Uh, we went we went surfing internet and then we we found that. The, the things we are supposed to move from offshore to onshore are basically heavy so you, we decided to do the crane in order to make it easier for things to move from the oil rig itself into ships or whatever is taking the oil to onshore uh, anyhow uh, we, we had uh, a little more space when we were designing our floors so we decided to uh, make uh, a little more rooms basically we have nine rooms we, di we divided the rooms between offices and then hall, halls for meetings and whatever and then we also made a storage for from in the first floor and second floor we also added the bathrooms for males and females uh, other thing is we also supported disabled people with stairs so they can go up and down without uh, and without need for help from others uh, as you can see here's the front view uh, here are the rooms and this is the, the this is the upper roof. Uh, moving to here, this is the right elevation. As you can see here, here are the stairs. Within the stairs itself, the there is the normal stairs and the stairs for disabled people. Uh, we couldn't add uh, elevators inside oil rigs because when we were looking uh, through the internet, we found that the electricity supply would be an on supply used on the oil rig itself so we basically had to add generators for electricity and for that reason we cannot use elevators or automatic stair for disabled people uh, as you can see here this is the back elevation uh, we used small windows because the air the air sufficient has to be enough in the rooms itself uh, Moving to our second floor plan, as you can see here, we have rooms, and this is the size of the room, 600 by 480. Uh, this is the hall. Anyhow, as you can see, uh, here are the stairs. So when you go from the first floor to the second floor, you basically enter a, a closed place, which leads to the halls and the rooms. Uh, as I mentioned before, here are the hall halls, here are the rooms, and here's the access way for everything. These are the doors, this is the other doors. This is an empty place, an empty space between the two rooms. Uh, also here we have another facilities for storage and, and refining for whatever is, depends on the process of the oil rig itself. Uh, we're gonna go back to sections later on. This is the site plan, uh, same thing you can see the stairs over here, this is basically the beams for the foundation of the oil rig itself. Uh, we did the, the, uh, the XX and YY sections using this side and this side, we're going to move it forward for that thing. Uh, as you can see here is the ground floor, it's basically the same design as the one up. Uh, this is but here the rooms purpose is changed from rooms and offices to a storage 
we decided to make our expand our storage so we can store more things inside. Uh, this 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 is also for saving money since the the transform the transportation of the oil will be easier and faster since we are moving big amounts uh, moving here to first floor uh, here are the offices so, uh, basically same design because we cannot co uh, construct um, so much beams uh, So as I mentioned, here are the offices. Uh, we, we really didn't decide which one is the office for the manager, which one is the office for the engineering. We can do this furthermore in the, the legend or whatever. Anyhow, as I mentioned before, these are the storage. These, these stores are not used only for saving oil in the, in the things that we extract from under beneath the sea. We also can use it for storing items and instruments for the oil rig itself and then for the digging itself. Uh, so basically we decided to make a big space for storage in case we need that space. Uh, anyhow, moving forward, this is the section AA which is XX basically. As you can see uh, here are only, you can see only the beams because uh, oil rigs basically consist of beams and basically we use trusses and metals. Uh, the reason why we use trust in metals is uh, metals have a high ability to take tension. So uh, since the what since the tension is gonna be forced over over the trust itself, we engineers prefer to use trusses and metal. Another reason why is metal can have some admixtures and covers which can stop the 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 corrosion of the chemical processes with the water. Uh, and this is our section BB which is YY uh, as you can see here are the rooms here are the windows this is the the floor this is the slab between the two the two floors and uh, over here we added all the notes like the materials we used and the architectures we used uh, as you can see here are our dimensions and spaces and distances uh, as you can see, it's all steel, and uh, we we elaborated more about the steel. So we need to test the steels for lifetime and all these things. And basically, that's all. Uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching, and thank you so much.